In this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart the Seagate Expansion desktop hard drive so that you can harvest the SATA drive inside to use as an internal drive in your PC. There are several reasons why you may want to do this. First, in some places it's actually cheaper to buy an external drive than an internal drive of the same capacity. Or maybe you've just switched from using a laptop to a desktop and you'd rather have the drive inside your PC case instead of outside on the desk. At first glance it doesn't look like there's any way of opening the drive as there are no screws anywhere. But if you look closely there's a small gap between the plastic on the top of the case and the base. You need to insert something thin in this gap and work your way around the edge of the drive undoing the plastic clips that are securing the top to the base. You should hear a click as the clips are undone. Ideally you'd use a prying tool for this but as I don't have one I'm just using a table knife. Just insert the tool into the gap and rotate it away from you pushing the top part of the case away from the bottom. Once you've done three sides, you should be able to lift off the top of the case, giving you access to the SATA drive inside. Inside the case, you'll see a PCB mounted to the drive with a single screw and some metal foil near the connector end. Remove the screw with a crosshead screwdriver. And then peel up the foil at the connector. Once this has been peeled up a bit, you can use it like a handle to lift the drive out of the case. Once the drive is out of the case, you can disconnect the SATA to USB bridge PCB. You may want to keep this to use in the future. Then turn the drive over and peel off the remainder of the foil. There are four rubber pieces to remove, one at each corner of the drive, to give you access to the Phillips head screws underneath. Once these four screws have been removed, you're left with a bare 3.5 inch SATA drive ready to be installed as an internal drive in your PC. In my case, the drive was a 5900 RPM Seagate ST3000 DM003. That's it for this video, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.